Hey, Daily Dosers. My name's Hayden. Um, I'm one of our high school pastors here at North Coast, and I work at our Carlsbad campus. I've actually had the privilege of going to North Coast my entire life, and I've been a cr Christian as long as I can remember. And I remember being here at North Coast, I was given one of the Bible covers that said, I'm in the Lord's army now. And as a fourth or fifth grader, I don't really exactly remember, I thought it was one of the coolest privileges ever to be called a soldier in God's army. That I thought, you know, this is me defeating sin. This is me, you know, storming the gates of hell. This is me conquering all the things that are going to come against me as a Christian. And I, this mentality kind of made me think that I was better than I really was. Um, and as I kind of want to jump in to give you maybe some context of what this looked like in my own life. And the context is going to be found in James chapter 4, uh, verse 6. And it says this, it says, but he who gives grace uh, gives us more grace. This is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And I think one of the most arrogant things that we can think, one of the most prideful things that we can think as Christians is thinking that we can defeat the enemy by ourselves. Is thinking that we can withstand sin by our own strength. That we think that by our own wisdom, by our own intellect, that we know how to deal with temptation. And we can even see in scripture where Jesus himself, he even submits himself to God, his wisdom, prayer, and God's word to know that he can't do it under his own, his own strength. And I think for me, I thought this idea of being in the Lord's army is that I need to defeat sin, that I need to overcome temptation. But it says God opposes the pride. He says, you can't do it on your own strength. You can't do it on your own ability. And he says, but give grace to the humble. That Submit yourself then to God, that this humbleness, this humility is going to mean that you have to submit yourself to God. You see, submitting yourself to God and being a soldier for God's army means that you have to put yourselves under the commanding chief. You know, you have to put yourself under as a soldier um, in the army, that you don't have to be the one who's fighting this own battle, this own war against sin, this own temptation that you're dealing with. He says, no, 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 you put yourselves under God. Why do you put yourselves under God? I missed this. I didn't get this. But you put yourselves under God is because he's already won the war. You don't have to. He's already the one who's defeated sin, that he's already overcome the war that I could never win myself. And, you know, it, it then says if if you know you submit yourselves then to God, it says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And there's a writer who says it like this. It says, the devil can wrestle against the Christian, but he cannot pin him. And this mentality of I have to do it by my own strength, I have to do it by my own wisdom, I have to do it by my own intellect, um, really made me feel like it was my own doing and being a Christian was so hard because I was doing it without Christ. And this week, as we talk about submission, my encouragement, because th this is what I'm encouraging myself, is that, that submit yourself to God is putting yourself underneath God because he's already won. And when I look at my life in a perspective of how he wants me to live his life, that's when I start to see that his ways are better than my ways, that his thoughts are better than my thoughts. And that's when I start to see that I don't have to do it my own way, but I could do it his way. And yes, I'm going to wrestle with sin. Yes, I'm going to wrestle with temptation. But guess what? The enemy's always going to wrestle with us, but he's never going to pin us. So this week, Daily Dosers, I hope you're encouraged to submit yourselves to God, and you don't have to do it alone. Thanks so much for watching.